Hi, darling. Hi, Trini. How are you? I'm great. How are Good. you? Very well. Okay, what's happening today? This is a real confession of confessions because I'm going to take you through my purchases since um, September. Ooh. September, yes. Okay. So I have been in lots of locations and I have also thought to myself I should get something because I, you know, need it for work. I've had 101 excuses. <laughs> and also it's like I'm a kid in a f***ing sweet shop and I went a bit crazy. I did go a bit crazy. So this is a kind of sl slightly heart fluttering one but there's a mixture of high and low well a problem shared is a problem hard Thank so you, tell us yeah so i'm going to start with these trousers which are from cos yeah and i'm going to probably tweak them a bit i got a top with them which molly's trying to find downstairs for some reason it got lost from its um friend um <laughs> but i think the length is wrong i want to make them shorter so i think i'm going to take them up to there oh cool i just want them a little bit cropped they're a weird length and the shoes i've got on are actually new as well and yes. they are ones that I have bought a little bit often from Prada but these have little fur inside and I think every cool girl would wear them like with a little sock like that yeah you know that kind of look oh they're fluffy you know and they're a little bit fluffy so I could do like that as well yeah and that crop to show the ankle as well yeah I haven't bought these trousers for these shoes and I could wear these also with a trainer probably wouldn't wear them with the shoes actually you know it's, it's more of a trainer look so I don't like how that looks together. Yeah. Let's just stick with this, like that. Okay. When I was in class, I bought this coat. It's got this scarf, which is the same as the coat. And I love this coat so we much. We did it on coats. It was your end confessional coat. It was my end confessional coat. So there yeah. it is again. Anyway, I love it and it's great. And with these trousers, I love Perfect. the double pinstripe. So that's that. <laughs> I'll show you some other new stuff. I was given this, yeah. so it's not something I've bought, so it's not really a confession, but I want to see how these shoes look with it, what I do with that kind of look. It's the wrong length. Is this like a dress coat? I don't know. I haven't figured out how to wear it yet. A skinny cigarette pant yes. with nothing on top and a lacy bra. That would be yeah. the way to wear it. Mm -hmm. This is old H&M on my top half. But the bottom half, this is Zara. And it's a weird colour for me, Jemima. It's not my best colour. So I needed something sparkly underneath. But I love the fact that it has the waistcoat like that. Is that because it's a bit warm for you? Um, what? You said it's not this. your best colour. Yeah, I don't know, is it a bit dirty? It's a bit dirty, exactly. I just like the fact that it looks a little bit like it's a dress or a skirt and it's in fact trousers. Yeah. I think <laughs> I did it with this jacket. Thinking I didn't do the job and I did something else. And then I got a new scarf, which I can't. It's another closet confession, which is that. Ooh. I think that brought it together like that. Yeah, and blue's a great colour for you, is that why you yeah, picked I, it that, out? That was it, that was it. That was that the was look. It. And then I had a bag. I really love this um this trouser. And I love the fact that the I love the layering. I like I really like this panel so much. Mm. It makes you do a, t a double take, doesn't it? You're like, oh. Yeah, exactly. And cool. the colours are good because this colour I, I lost the trouser for, and so I realised that they're tonally really good, and it brings out the best of this this dull shade because Duh. this is a better shade for me. It's that sea green, yeah. and then the scarf brings it all together. So I feel I'll be wearing it lots of different ways. This is definitely the way I've found to wear it so far. Yeah. But I know that I can also switch out this with another, like a deeper jumper underneath mm -hmm. or a different color green, or I could do turquoise with it. But the shape is excellent. And that's Zara. And that's Zara. I know. Wow. Okay. Whilst we're here, I forgot about this. <laughs> and I don't know if this would go with this. If this silver was different, it would work. Where's the coat from? From Zara. New? I like her. Yeah. Ooh, I yeah, love that I hem. Think, I think this could work better with something else. I'm just, oh, I know what it could work well with. It could work well with white or beige. I think I've got some ideas for that. So let's go on to the next thing. I might just style up that coat because otherwise I'm definitely going to send it back. And I thought that it would have a place in my wardrobe. And if there isn't a place enough, it's going back. So with this, I just want to add in a little bit of um lovers onto my eye makeup to give a bit more depth i'm going for a slightly sexy evening look like that 
but it does brighten up the eyes. I like to have that hint of the warmth of the orange with this blue outfit that I'm going to show you. How I think I want to do evening wear um, this season, which is that Ooh. sort of sexy tux, but it's navy, not black. This is Delacroix. And I love the fact it's the waistcoat and I could do for nighttime like this it's and velvet. daytime with a big white shirt. Yeah, it's gorgeous, Trini. It's a really, you know, when you want something that you feel is very nighttimey, but you don't feel exposed. Yeah. And I think that's what this does. God, it looks amazing on camera, like that light reflection. Give it a bit of a zhuzh there. And then, you know, if you're sort of feeling that sort of sexy mode, take it off. <laughs> get the arms get out. Get the arms out. Yeah, I love that look. And then a nice strong bracelet. Yeah, I love that. You could wear that to so many places. I know, I could. You could wear it to black tie and then you could also do it up here so you get more fitted Ooh, at the waist. Yeah, cinch it in. And it just gives it more of a shape. Beautiful cut. It's Beautiful a great cut, cut yeah. yeah. And then I got my really old Prada shoes with it, which Gaffy did um, <laughs> chew the front of the shoe, but we, haven't, we can't quite see it close No, we down. can't see that. And I like that hint of silver that just pokes out here, and then when I yeah. put the jacket on, just pokes out at the end. I was thinking, just seen. because we can see this bag, I was wondering, would you add that? Or do you want to keep too... it totally, like, clean? Yeah, it's really tricky. I don't know if it would be too matchy-matchy. This is a new purchase as well. <laughs> Awesome. This is actually, and I got this because I was going to give Lila, and then I had actually got her another bag, so I didn't give it to her in the end, so it's just lurking here. <laughs> so you gave um, it to yourself. But it is, you've got that. Yeah. Like that. And then you have the original that they copied, like that. So it's got a bit of sort of Celine Prada to it, but you see it's hardly different in its metallic. Where's it from? Zara Prada. I'm not totally against topping and tailing. No, although yeah. it just looked so clean without a bag, didn't it? Yeah, it did. You've got a little pocket, you could put I your know, phone in. I, I could just slip it in there. <sighs> All right. Or your navy Chanel clutch. Or my navy <laughs> Chanel clutch. It's just hanging. Oh, you know what? That's exactly it. <laughs> Yay! That's exactly <laughs> it. These I've collected over the years, and I cannot begin to tell you how much they've changed in price, because this one, when I got this, it was that old, but it was seven hundred pounds. Oh They're now my gosh! Three thousand two hundred pounds. What an investment, Trini. So that actually, it's the one thing that if you're ever looking at buying, I mean, to buy pre-loved, but if you ever manage to, I just don't think the price of Chanel is going to go down. It's, you know, Chanel and Hermes have retained their prices in when you look at um, resale sites, but that's exactly the right thing. Subtle, discreet, and not too much. Mm. All right, let me just see what else I've got, because I'm just thinking, oh, but you saw this, didn't you? Did you see that I properly? I don't think we did. And you didn't see the black long... Oh, I've got something to wear the Prada shoes with! <laughs> one second. You can see that um, I've got a few. <laughs> so I'll show you one of them, the first one. Let me just put, I do do this with my shoulder pad top because I think that makes a difference with these. So this is the black one, but they're all like this. And they just have the little sleeve at the end, like that, Ooh, which I love. And they're they a merino from? wool, they're from Kos. Yeah. And they're an incredibly good underpiece. So I'm gonna do black because I've got this skirt. Yeah. Oh, where's the skirt from? <laughs> New York. <laughs> Anywhere in particular. <laughs> that does work. I mean, this is a look I've wanted to do for I don't know how long. All right. You've it's done that, it. It's that little, slight little girl moment. Yeah. Does it. it work? Yeah, yeah. It's really yeah. cool. I love it. And, uh, and I like it. I've always hated the idea of this because I felt it would make my ankles look weird, you know? But I think it depends where you put the sock. Yes. So I'm still refining the concept. Mm. I think it depends as well if you're going to be sitting down like and people and then you're crossing like legs. Like sitting down, like yeah. let's do a sitting down pose and see. Do you mind if I'm crossing legs sitting down? Is that Lovely. Right? Yeah. Is that nice? works. That's cute. I like seeing a bit of skin. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that does work. And then I have actually... Because I'd always wanted a pleated skirt which didn't feel full, which was to my ankle. So okay. when I found it, it had to be had. Where did you find it? It's, it's Watanabe. Um, and I got it in New York in this store in Greenwich Village. Little company. So I'm going to now do another look that I did when I was in New York. And I found this other thing. I went to a store called The Real Real. Mm -hmm. 
and I found, I found this coat and it's a pre-love coat. It's from the 60s, it's from Courage. And it's so heavy and so mad, <laughs> but I kind of thought so fab. When I came up the stairs, that's the first thing I saw. <laughs> It's just it's like, so it's just crazy. And it's quite challenging to wear. It doesn't look good with trousers. Oddly, when I tried it on in my hotel room in New York, I thought it looked really good with the skirt. Yeah. But do we think it works with the skirt? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> it really is super mad. It's so good. But I've got to think of other ways I can wear it with. I like the length and the proportions of, well, I like the fact it's yeah. got a slit here. So that really helps. I just love the texture. I love this. the structure as well. It's almost like one of those coats that you would just put on like a Polly Pocket when you were younger. Oh, yeah. It is exactly yeah, it's the way it's like Polly Pocket. Literally, I could be standing like yeah. this and it goes oh. and goes on. Yeah. Works? Works. Okay, we're nearly, nearly, nearly at yeah. the end. Anything we... else you've bought that you want to tell us about? That's a good question. Oh That's my good. god, I've got about that thing in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jemima are both staring in the corner like, what? <laughs> a lot of black, isn't it? But Some a lot of velvet. I'm loving sense. it. What, with black? Yes. Well, Molly loves black. I don't know how, how well you know Molly, but Molly will inevitably, I mean, she's in colour today. But... This is Molly in colour. Yeah, sorry, it never <laughs> this happens. This is unusual. This is like saying there's Trini in black. I had had a black Zara jacket for about... 10 years, the same jacket, and it really was falling apart. And I just thought, actually, I want to get a jacket that I'll have till I die. So this is this thing that I forgot I got. So this is like nearly black. You could say it is black. I think it is I black. I think it's black. I'd like to say, say it's gray. I think it's, it's, it's dark gray. gray. <laughs> In Molly's black world, that's gray. <laughs> it's um, Lauren Manoogian, but it's like, you know when you want to be in a straight jacket of of comfort. Yes. I mean, because I say that because sort of, I feel I'm doing that. But it is so long the sleeve and it fits me really well. And it's when you're tall, it's very difficult to get something with very long sleeves. Yeah. And I went to the shop where I got the skirt and this and everything I tried on had, it was for really long sleeves. I love so, that. So that worked well. And then I'll just do that with a coat on top. Any coat would be good on top. I could do anything. I could do that, new friend. Yeah. Um, but it's just cozy, comfy, slouchy. It's like a one-up from the essential Antwerp you had a few years ago. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, but better. Yes. It's an upgrade. Oh, I did see this in stories. Oh. I did pretend that John had bought it. <laughs> oh, yes! But yeah. it was really... And it was with yellow. I had it with yellow, but it's just... It is. I was obsessed because the shape is like this big cocoon. Yeah. And I also tried it on with yellow. So I'm looking, and I, when I got back, I then realised I had the pink oversized coat, which I've forgotten I had. <laughs> no. um, but it felt very different in a split hairs kind <laughs> no, of way. It, that is neon and the bow mat is not neon. It's true. Yeah. Okay, so also I love this also, with the yellow. you wanted to cut the lapel off the bow mat and now you don't have to. Yeah, no, I don't have to. This. Is it, um, are there any fastenings? No, Is it no, magnet or no, it just no, stays like that? Like wow. That. It's just like that. Oh, Trini, you know I love this. I mean, it is. I mean, for Jemima, you know, she is the pink queen. And then I might just put... I don't know if I did actually show you this. My disco ball. Mm -hmm. Did you see my disco ball? Yeah. It'll say that. I love just it. That. So that's the end of it. Um, where is it from, may I ask? This. Uh, the coat. I don't know. It's from a shop in Sydney. <laughs> I don't know who it's by. I don't know anything about it. If anyone I, knows, let us know. <laughs> yeah, anyone knows, let us know. But I um, I just fell in love. Yeah. Yeah. I would too, yeah. I did it with my bright yellow. Yeah. So I need to think of many ways I'm going to wear it. Because with jeans, like these kind of jeans, it's not right, the proportions. I need to get the proportions Oh, right. I love it though. Yeah. Okay. Things to think about are... Hmm. So I bought a mixture of things that are classic, essential and irreverent. So this is what I call irreverent. <laughs> the um, the cost ones, and I'm going to keep probably the green and the navy and the black, are... Essential. Essential. I just realised there's another whole thing I bought that I really want to show you. So there is a favourite shop of mine in New York called Tibby, and I love it. And it just does this very specific shapes, and they do baggy trousers, and they do shoulder pads in their tops, all the things I love. And I don't usually wear brown, no. but I actually love it, this brown. I just feel yeah. it's sort of, it works well. It's a new color for me. And I thought that's good. And I think it's different from like, that's a very cold brown. Yes. 
so that's definitely going back by the way um and um this is a softer warmer brown mm. and then it had this thing that went with it that reminded me of something molly and i own um which when i put it on molly will know exactly what i mean which is this sort of sleeveless yes. thing that goes on top Oh, I love it. I, I think like Tibby it. works so well for you because yeah. it is really That's cut for cool. your proportions. That's just, yeah. I love that. And the neckline, you can have it like that or you can just tuck it in. But I love Very this cool. whole outfit. I mean, for me, it's just that sort of sloppy chicness. Um, and then I'm thinking, oh, I haven't got brown accessories or what would I do? I might do some leopard with it. Well, I just remembered that Carla Rockwell bag. Would you try oh that with God, it? Oh my God, we could look. This is something, yes. This is something that Carla Rockwell sent. Oh, so cool I could do that. That's so, it's so good that you remember that, actually, because... <laughs> it's because I've got Carla the same Rockmore. bag. You have the same bag. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. So there's the bag. Yeah. Jemima <laughs> chose this one as well. But it's just, you know, she literally put the kitchen sink in this bag. So, you know, let me put a bag inside the bag and let me put... A jumper inside the bag. But I remember when she was showing this, I'm putting a spare Lily pair of shoes for tonight. Yeah. What? Lily could get that Lily in could go in the bag. <laughs> I put another bag in the bag. But just to show you how much it can take, it's like the Mary Poppins thing. Yeah. And it still works, you know. You don't feel you're carrying a huge amount. I love the thickness. I like the, the band here. It comes in black. And what other colour? <sighs> Mustard, I think. Maybe, yeah. It's a super cool bag. Mm -hmm. And then just hangs like that. It works really well with that cut. Yeah, well done, Jemima. <laughs> well done, Carla. Ten, well done, Carla. Ten out of ten. Um, and the, these are the normal trouser legs, by the way, but I tuck them in. Oh, I like okay. Them tucked in better. So that is really it. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else is going to be brought out. Over and out from Closet Confessions. And what I'd just like, Jemima, what we could do yeah. is we need to figure out how we go from here to a Christmas. And I'm thinking that taking five pieces and making it the basis of a wardrobe. So Annie, who helped me do the book, challenged me and I got Molly to prepare a rail, but I'm thinking this concept of five pieces is if you only had five pieces in your wardrobe, what would they be? And I might do that for different types of wardrobes. Yes. You know, so what would those five crucial pieces be? So you know, I'm not saying you're gonna have, you're still gonna have jeans and a t-shirt and a jumper and stuff. But what are those pieces that make that the identifiable look Yeah. into everything you might put with it, which is a basic? Yeah. And we could do that with sort of rock chick, with, with softly smoky, with minimalist. Cool. You know, we could go through those things in the book. Yeah. I want to do some party wear as well before yeah. the end of the year. Yeah. And party wear that feels that it's not the classic dress. Like, yeah. how can we create new concepts yeah. in party wear? And rewear stuff because you yeah. buy it and it's so expensive. And how can you rewear it differently? Yeah. So, a lot of sort of party wear you wear daytime party wear now that you might have yeah. had in your wardrobe for a few years. We could do that. Okay, see you next week, Journey. We've got lots to do <laughs> and get ready for. Bye, Bye. Jemima. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. Bye. Bye.